My father was the first Prime Minister of Solomon Islands. Uh, he led Solomon Islands through the independence process. And in uh, 1978, when we got our independence, he was there uh, as the first Prime Minister. Uh, so he had a, a sense of um, um, deep um, concern. I was uh, here uh, working in the Attorney General's uh, chambers. Tensions in the air, you could hear, read um, all sorts in the media. Taxi drivers were telling you things. The uh, bona fide claims that was always referred to by the Guadalcanal uh, people in terms of their land and the deaths of some of their wantoks was something that we all knew around that time and it was already starting to brew. The concern uh, for me in particular was not that deep, although I knew it was simmering, but I never felt it was going to get into a stage where we would have an intervention. But it dawned on me once when I saw um, um, a whole lot of people in fatigue uniforms drive across town, uh, openly holding arms uh, in the back of their pickup. And I was like, what is, what is going on? And then you hear the news like, oh, they're going to defend uh, West Honiara against an invasion from the Guadalcanal Revolutionary Army at the time, I think it was called. Um, so that was when it sort of hit me uh, quite heavily, like, so this is real. I think. I think this is something that's really happening.